All right guys, have I got a crazy case for you. Now, when I heard about this case initially, I just couldn't believe my eyes. I couldn't believe that this was actually a real true case. I made it up here to Dover Plains, New York, and this is where the victims were supposed to be buried. I walked around the whole cemetery. Findagrave.com sometimes is one of the greatest resources that I can think of, but sometimes it can also be incredibly annoying because they're not always accurate. According to findagrave.com, the victims are buried here at St. Charles Cemetery, again in Dover Plains. But I walked around the whole cemetery and I couldn't find their graves. So my first thought is maybe they're buried in unmarked graves because it's such a high profile kind of case, or maybe findagrave.com is just wrong, <laughs> which could be true. This is one of the few cases where I can't actually visit a grave for you and I can't really visit a crime scene, but the story is too, too interesting and too bizarre to not tell you guys. So I'm gonna walk around the cemetery where they're supposed to be buried at, and I'm gonna tell you the story. So this story involves many different people. And again, four people would wind up dead at the end of this event. So let's go back to 1995. Stephen Plato was 20 years old back then in 1995. He met a 15 year old girl named Alyssa on the internet. She soon became pregnant and gave birth to a girl that they named Denise. Now, Alyssa told the Associated Press during an interview, she said that they put Denise up for adoption when she was eight months old. She said that they were young and poor. And she also believed that Stephen physically abused the baby. A couple named Tony and Kelly Fusco were the ones who adopted young Denise. They changed her name to Katie. And so Katie Fusco would be their new daughter. She grew up with the Fuscos in Dover, about 80 miles north of New York City. And again, they had a pretty normal family dynamic. Now, after turning 18, Katie was told that she was adopted and she ended up finding her birth parents, which would have been Stephen Plato. Now, instead of going to college in August of 2016, Katie ended up moving in with the Platos in Virginia. Her adoptive parents, the Fuscos, were of course apprehensive, but they decided that Katie was old enough to kind of make this decision on her own. However, not long after Katie moved in with her birth parents, things were not going well at all. Stephen and Alyssa Plato had already decided to separate and were actually sleeping in different rooms. Alyssa said that she suffered emotional and verbal abuse by Stephen for many years. She said that she felt like she was always walking on eggshells. Now, Alyssa told Katie privately that Stephen had abused her when she was a baby. And that was a major reason for why they decided to give her up for adoption. However, Katie apparently didn't seem to be that concerned about that. Now about six weeks after Katie moved in, Stephen slept on the floor in Katie's bedroom one night. He apparently slept on the floor again the next night. And so Alyssa confronted him about it. And he said it was none of her business. Now in May of 2017, Alyssa had already moved out of the house at this point. Uh, Alyssa found out from her other daughter who was 11 that Steven and Katie had started a, a relationship. Obviously incest, of course and that Katie was pregnant with Steven's child. 
Now, of course, as you can imagine, Alyssa was absolutely furious and also hysterical. Alyssa confronted him and said, is Katie really pregnant with your baby? And Steven responded with, I thought you knew, we're in love. So of course, after hearing that her own husband got their daughter pregnant and was starting a relationship with, with him, she said, how could you? You're sick. She's just a child. She called the police, of course. On July 20th, 2017, two months after Stephen and Alyssa's divorce was finalized, Stephen married his daughter, Katie, in Maryland. They lied on their application saying they were unrelated. And on September 1st, Katie gave birth to her and Stephen's child named Bennett. She and Stephen then moved to a house in North Carolina. However, things did not last very long. They were arrested on incest charges in January and a judge ordered them to have no contact with each other and Stephen's mom had custody of Bennett. Now on April 12th, 2018, Katie and her adoptive father, Tony Fusco, left the Dover home for a nearby town called Waterbury and waiting for them was Stephen. I guess he waited outside their house in his minivan. Minutes later, witnesses heard someone shooting a gun. Stephen pulled up next to Katie and Tony and opened fire, ended up killing both Tony Fusco and again, his own daughter slash wife. Now, shortly after that, Stephen's mom, Grace, called 911 to report that Stephen had told her he killed the baby, which again would have been little Bennett, and police arrived to find the little baby Bennett dead. Now, this, this whole case is just a whirlwind of events, so I'm trying to keep everything straight and hopefully you guys are keeping track of everything. Now, only a few miles away from Dover, New York, police found Steven's minivan parked on the side of the road. When they got to the driver's side door, they found Steven Plato dead. He killed himself with a self-inflicted gunshot to his own head. So in the matter of a few hours, essentially, Stephen killed Katie, her adoptive dad, Katie and his son, and then killed himself. Now, other reports state that they believe that the whole thing, this whole shooting rampage started because they believe that Katie was questioning her new relationship slash marriage with her dad. And I think she was thinking of maybe taking a break from the marriage or potentially ending it. And so of course, Steven did not like that and decided that if he can't have his own daughter as his wife, and if he can't have his son then I guess he didn't want anyone to have them. So just an unbelievable case that is still boggling my mind. I'm really shocked, to put it lightly. This whole case is just mind blowing. So again, let me know what your thoughts are on this whole thing in the comments down below. I'll see you guys on the next video. We'll see you guys soon.